Hey guys, welcome back. Me and JB decided to make a crappie fishing video for you guys. And uh, some of you have been telling me, not so much in the comments, but people around this area, I'd love to go catch some crappie, but I don't have a boat. Well, guess what? You don't need a boat. You just need to be patient and uh, put just a little bit of time in and uh, you can catch them. We went uh, to a lake and I started to film the whole thing at the lake and I decided, nope, I'm gonna take them back in the swamp. And JB loves that swamp and it's real beautiful back in there. And uh, if you guys will, tell JB happy birthday in the comments because he's turning five uh, here real soon. And uh, <clears throat> he loves when I read the comments to him. You don't have to spend a lot of money, guys. These are little ultralight rods. Give me a second to turn this camera back on back here. Well, there we go. These are just some little ultralight rods. You know, one's probably about four foot, and the other one's like maybe five foot six. Uh, I think one rod I paid two dollars for at a yard sale, and the other one was probably like three dollars. And just some inexpensive, you know. One's I think is a thousand series, and the other one's a fifteen hundred series reel. Uh, I got like four pound test line on them, and I think I spent like uh, four dollars on minnows. So you don't have to spend a lot of money, and you don't need a boat. You can catch them right off the bank. So <clears throat> if you want to catch crappie, you don't know how to use a jig to catch them with. All you need is some minnows. A Zebco 33, a cane pole. Um, find you a treetop and just be patient. You'll get them. And trust me, it's a lot of fun. But you don't have to spend a lot of money. And guys, you don't have to have a boat. If you count uh, a kayak, I've got three. And uh, I probably don't use them, say, 20 times a year. I, since my back's gotten hurt, I can't even remember when I used the uh, kayak last but uh it's a good video we got into some monster crappie lost some monster crappie lost some big bass even got a surprise from a catfish i thought it was a lungfish um the camera's not picking up my voice all that great uh i've been having some really major blood pressure problems and um <clears throat> i thought my blood pressure was okay because it was when i left but it went up really high uh while I was fishing and that kind of affected the way I s spoke trying to keep from having another stroke um, so far today it's normal but when I got back yesterday it was 220 over 180 and that's stroke level so something's going on but uh, I still had a great time fishing JB and I had a great time making a video for you he loves romping in the back of the truck you can feel the camera moving uh, <clears throat> but yeah Get you some minnows if you don't know how to use jigs and go find you a treetop along a bank someplace and enjoy catching them. And I'm gonna show you something else too. Those are uh, willow trees that you see hanging off the river over there. And there's some right over there. Crappie love those things. They'll get right up in it. And the other thing, once you find them, just figure out the depth, play with the depth. Use a cork that you can adjust. And uh, eventually you'll find the depth that they, that they want. Crappie like to come up to get the bait. Now that's not saying that if it's six inches below them that they won't go down and get it. But uh, if, if you're fishing the bottom, um, they usually don't hit on the bottom. Um, I have had that happen. If you can't find any minnows, guess what? You can catch them on worms. Just hook that worm, just the end of it on your hook with the rest of it dangling down. They love red worms. Put that red worm around the treetop and you'll catch crappie and you, you'll catch everything else too. Uh, you know, fishing guys is one of the best sports that we have and it's a privilege. I know we're certainly gonna enjoy what we caught tonight for dinner, but I'm gonna ask you guys to spread the word. See that trash bag right there? All the clothes hangers and guys, I've been picking up trash like crazy and uh, 
my health the way it is, I just can't do it all myself. And I don't understand why people have to throw their garbage out in our beautiful wild places. If we don't take care of nature, well, we're all gonna be in serious trouble. So please, whatever you go out in nature with, bring back with you. And if you guys will hit that like and subscribe button, please wish him a happy birthday. And uh, yeah, put, uh, put your comments down. We love to read them. And uh, come go crappie fishing with us and let's catch some. Stay close, JP. I'll get a turtle and I'm big and see how close we can get to it. Stay behind me, geese. I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. We just wanna say hello. Stay, JB. JB, back up, back up. JB doesn't see you. Ah, uh, no, stay. I'm sure sinking in. Back up, JB. Look at this guy. He's about uh, 24 inches long and about 18 inches in diameter. I don't even about the GoPro. That's absolutely incredible. He is beautiful. He is absolutely beautiful. Just being as nice, look at that. That's a very old turtle. Okay, buddy, we'll get out of here and let you go have it, okay? Y'all can see JB and I are way back here. Got his camera off. Sometimes, guys, to get to the crappie without a boat, you gotta go on a little walk. It's not far, but we hadn't had any rain in over a month. And uh, the last two days we've had non-stop, just real slow rain. And this little creek is usually about, uh, come on, about six foot wide has come up. <clears throat> but I thought I'd share with you guys how pretty it is back in here. Come on, son. Hogs cross right here. That's what he's smelling. <clears throat> hey, I think it's gonna be our best bet right here. Maybe it won't come up over my boots. There ain't no big thing if it does. And it did. Ooh, my goodness, that's cold. Ooh, that's some cold water. <clears throat> Y'all can see where all the hogs have been crossing through here. And a lot of them. I, well, I guess I could have crossed right down there. I didn't even see that. It's like 59 degrees. It's not that cold. Oh, you, <laughs> yeah, you smell all them hog tracks, don't you? Yeah, I do too. <clears throat> this right here is usually eat up with them. Hey, come on, we're not hog hunting. We're, we're crappie fishing. I have to remember that when I come out. Yeah, 
it's not a long walk If you've never been in a swamp before, I don't recommend you doing this because uh, you can get turned around and lost real easy. Luckily for me, JB knows where we're going. We came back and scouted it the other day before the rain started. Come on, Bill. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. JB is a hunter. And a good one. So, <laughs> he may have a pig on the brain all afternoon. <laughs> and, uh, yes, I am armed just in case uh, we come across the mean one. I almost never carry, but in this state it's legal to open carry if you're hunting, fishing, hiking, or camping. And you can conceal carry as long as you're not a felon or under indictment over the age of 21. Let's go this way, boo. Just generally don't carry. It's been so long since I have. I, I don't like to wait in my lower back. But I feel a lot better, guys, than what I did. They uh, started me on two new blood, blood pressure medications. Where we're going is <laughs> about 30 yards ahead of us. <clears throat> but I had to get my breath. Hey, 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 you done broke one belt. Don't break another one. GB. Buddy, I gotta, I gotta fix. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Give me some slack. All right, let's go this way. No, no, no. I'm not gonna play that with you. Come back. Come on. Come on. I see that smile. Come on. Come on. He likes to wrap me up. He thinks it's funny. Oh, it is funny? Oh. <clears throat> I guess uh, next year will make a full 20 years since uh, I fished this. Now that part right there is not it. Come here, JB, come on. Nope, nope. Well, hell, it don't matter, go ahead. Right. Well, you uh, are you following a deer or something? You zigzagging like crazy. There's where we're going, folks. Well, the water's been so low I couldn't get a boat in it, but maybe this rain crop here here maybe Saturday I can bring the boat back now, the other day with it being down there was lots of bank to fish but it's come back up well that's all right I'm gonna show you all how to swamp fish So except for when the water's up, you can't get a boat in here because of a log jam down there. So uh, this just doesn't get fished. And I've caught the biggest crappie of my life out of here, so I wanted to bring you guys and share the experience with you, hoping that they're still in here. So give me a minute, let me get set up, and we'll get to fishing. I'm going to have to go out there and get him, unfortunately.
I like ultralight fishing, but there we go. We got him. We, we got him. Oh, that's a good one there. Got a big fat 13, really 14 inch one. Guys, if you don't know how to crappie fish with jigs, you can spend four or five dollars on some minnows and go have a wonderful day. I hope the camera's picking that up. Ah, come here. It should be. That's a beautiful fish, ain't it, JB? Little JB says, I know what I'm having for supper. I had to rig up where I could sit down. I was getting a real wet backside. I don't mind getting soaking wet, <laughs> but I don't like uh, burning my clothes in that red red clay. Uh, Thought the camera was on on the last ones, but battery died with me. When you fish a treetop, fish the entire treetop before you move on, because they'll be all over that treetop. I'm not gonna get out of the mud. And a good pair of mud boots helps. But you don't have to have a boat to go fishing, guys. You just have to not be lazy. And if I can do it with my spine, I mean, this is only about a 200 yard walk from where I parked the truck, and it took me better than a half an hour to do it. But. <clears throat> If I can do it, you guys can. I think he's on there, guys. Oh, darn it. I pulled it out of his mouth. Hey, fish, don't wet my backside no more than what it already is. Usually all I bring is a minnow bucket, and I, I bring a stringer, but I bet he killed that minnow. No, he didn't. You know, everybody thinks that the only days you can go fishing is when it's 70 degrees and sun shining outside. If you don't mind getting dirty and wet, um, these days when fronts come through, the barometric pressure will be lower and the fish will bite better. But you gotta catch them kinda in the middle of the day early afternoon, they kind of get locked jaw towards uh, dusk. I mean, you'll still pick up a few. Hey, get off me, spider. I don't know you. That was a big crappie right there. I'd have to, I've got these set up for such ultralight, I'd have to re-rig to get way out there in the middle. AJB don't wander off, bud. Why they put this plastic stuff on these handles? I didn't buy this rod. Somebody bought it for JB. Oh, come on now. Get off that knot. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, I'm going to have to use the longer rod for this rod. you get good footing when you're on the side of a hill. Was it a hog? I heard it was a hog. Might have been your dear friend coming to say hello to you. Well, in case it's a hog, come back down here and protect me. what 
guys, I'm going to go to one rod for right now. I found they like them better hooked in the back, guys. There we go. There he is. Oh, good, good fish. Don't you do it. That's a nice crappie. That's a nice crappie. I know I saw him down here. Oh, he killed my minute and flipped it off. Hey, JB says I got to see it, Michael. Could have got a better hook set, ain't got it in the toughest part of the mouth. Look at there. Look at there. Switch hands here, guys. I'll get it up front of the camera for you. Look at there. Nice 11 inch crappie. Okay. Let's get another one out there. You hit it and took it under, guys. He may have got the minnow. Something struck over there big. I don't believe I got this rod dialed in on the dip. They seem to be hanging right on the center of this log. He killed it. <clears throat> sometimes they want them hooked in the back, sometimes they want them hooked in the mouth. Hopefully y'all can see that. And it's gone. Catch up to him there. There he is. Oh, that's a nice one there now. Look at there, JB. Look at that crappie. I wish y'all could feel this thing pulling. Us. I hope so like rod. I hate to lip them like that. Look at that one. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. I mean, he he is hooked good. Can y'all see that? I use these little mustads, guys, because uh, hold him up here and let y'all look at him. Another fine 12 incher. That's a white crappie. Sure is. I don't want to splash. I already got a wet backside. I had to get to where I got a bad right knee or left knee. I had to get the uh, weight off of, of it. I couldn't keep it bent. <clears throat> but I guarantee y'all that that's not the only ones in there. Guarantee it's not. You don't have to have the best gear in the world. I've got some real expensive crappie gear. Yeah, that wasn't no crappie, JB. That was a small uh, gar. I didn't quite get as far back in there as I wanted to. And that's something else. Don't worry about making perfect casts. Sometimes a bad cast will put you on a good fish. I make a cast and it's not right where I want it. I, I like to leave it there for just a minute.
it pays too to get back in some areas that aren't overfished we started this video at a lake where uh i did a crappie fishing video last year and got one right off the bat of course we got there too late um this move's been a nightmare and uh <clears throat> Got one right off the bat and they would take it under and go under with it and you'd go to pull back and there wouldn't be nothing there. You know, that's, that's crappie right there. I can't reach them that far out with this gear, GB. It's a lot further out there than what it looks. But yeah, this slough here, it, there's one right around the corner here that's real shallow. Um, but this one here is real deep and they send, tend to stay in here year round. But they're definitely in here in the fall and, and spring months. That river comes up a little bit more, I'll be able to come up here in a boat. And just to let y'all know, I'm not, I'm not uh, holding y'all up on that catfish video. Um, I just got to do a little more to it. He nailed that as soon as it hit the water, guys. And I pulled it right out of his mouth. I let him go too long trying to get the camera back on. I only brought a couple batteries, so uh, ah, little sticks. I'll let him sit there for a minute. I know they're down there at the very end, but uh, even though this water is kind of cloudy, uh, I don't want to walk down that way and spook them. That wind gust uh, caught me. But he didn't feel the hook. Leave it right there and see what happens. Get it that quick. Got him. Oh! Oh! If that was a crappie, that was a world record. Oh my goodness, he bent the hook. I think that was a bass, guys. I mean, there are some big crappie in here now. I, don't... I ain't gonna joke with you. There are some big crappie in here. I'm on three pounders. Pulled one out of here that size. Probably about halfway down. Oh, he got it that quick. Oh yeah, he's on. Oh, no, that is crappie too. What am I doing wrong? Well, need another minute because he killed that one. Alright, guys, I'll tell you what, I will give him plenty of time to get this minute this time. If I have to go to a bigger hook, I'll go to a bigger hook. I use those because they'll straighten out if I get hung. Well, that was a spot I, that he picked it up that. Oh, I pulled it right out of his mouth, guys. I mean, I pulled it right out of his mouth. And he got the minnow. I'm just going to go through the lip on this one. I want to get back in there as quick as I can. If you miss one like that, guys, try to get back in there on top of them. Because they won't go far. I think I threw that one right over a stick. I can move it off of it. No, oh, on this side of it. You know, they started me on a new blood pressure medicine and it brought my blood pressure down. But that right there, that's a good way to get your blood pressure up. Um, I don't mind that adrenaline at all because there's some big ones in there. I'm, I'm way bigger than what we've, what we've landed. If I don't mess up, we should land some big ones, GB. I know I missed a bunch of them. 
You want to tell everybody how many I've missed? Oh, he's disgusted with it, guys. Well, we ain't gonna lie to him. I've missed a dozen. I needed a bigger hook and I started to buy some and I thought, no, I'll use those because I know I'm gonna get hung. And then when I got home, I only had uh, maybe six or seven of those hooks left. <laughs> And it's perfectly okay to kind of work that thing like a jig, like an artificial. Do you think that man is not doing his job down there? But I'm gonna put it back down there where I know they're hanging out. Me down here on this end of this log talking. <laughs> they're gonna be down on that end. Uh-oh. I just fed him another minnow. I'm afraid I'm going to have red bugs like y'all ain't going to believe. But my knee won't let me stay bent, and neither will my back. So I have to... Well, there we go. Can't see with the glasses and can't see without them. That high blood pressure is the reason I have to wear the glasses. Apparently I had it for a long time before I ever knew I did. And I tell you what I think it is, I think it's a magnesium deficiency. I got a pharmacist that's uh, supposed to have me some magnesium tomorrow. It sure feels better having it down. But those beta blockers, after about a half a dozen dose, your, your heart won't be able to beat if you were being chased by a Brahma bull. <clears throat> oh, y'all can quit, y'all caught. I thought I was gonna have to move all up and down this, uh, but there ain't no point, you don't leave fish to find fish, guys. They're biting slow, but that's not the fish, that's the weather. But boy, the ones that do bite are monsters. We'll get into another one in a minute. He's running with it, guys. Sometimes crappie will do that. They won't take it all the way under. Got him. That's a good one, too. Get him out of them logs. Sometimes they'll run like that right across the top. Oh, he ain't that big. He's about 10 inches. You sure had some power, though. You was a fighter, you were. Thank you. Good 10-incher. There's not a size limit on them here, guys. There is a quantity, uh, you know, a numbers limit. And I think that's 35, but uh, we ain't gonna have to worry about reaching that today. Something's too big. Some of these minutes are just too big. But this one should be just right for one of them big 14 inch, 15 inch crappie. Once I get the depth set again on it. These slip corks uh, don't like to stay at depth. And these guys are hanging it right at about 30 inches. And probably a, a foot below that, but it's a pretty deep slew. A little further out than what I wanted, but we missed a real big one out there a while ago, so. They seem to like to get it when I set the pole down. Turn the camera off. I think we might get one. Big just boiled right over there. Probably a big turtle. I 
I guarantee you that's a crappie trying to get that big man in the mouth. He hit that one when I brought it to us. That's, that's, that's one of them good crappie I've been wanting right there. Oh, come on now, you, you done, you done. Oh, that's a nice long one, JB. I had that one sitting right there and I brought this one up about a foot from it and moving it across there so that tells me they want to hit something moving right now. Maybe put a jig on. There's a nice 12 inch one. He's probably a pound and a quarter, pound and a half. They just starting to put on some size. It was real hot this year. They ought to be twice that thick by now. Gracious me. They ought to be twice that thick. Most of these minnows are way bigger than what I want to use, but once that one fell out, we'll go ahead and use it. I like them about an inch and a half long. Some this one here is about two and a half. But maybe once I reset the depth. Uh, he'll bring us a two pound crappie. Uh, they want something moving. Hmm. I didn't bring with the hole I like to jig with. And yeah, that was a white crappie. I've caught both white and black crappie today. Apparently they ain't come back to right here yet. The minute I got on right now is the size I like to have on. I'll put this on out there and let him do his thing. I pulled it right out of his mouth. I mean, he was moving. I was trying too hard to get the camera on. That's like, he ain't going anywhere. <clears throat> Put it right back in there. Leave a little bit of line out this time. That's a big minnow. Said I thought I was gonna have to fish all up and down this thing uh, to get a video and to get a mess, but uh, I noticed that first spot we started that uh, they were striking all down in here and there was all kind of bait coming in off the river. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's going with it. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. I hope I'm recording. That is a heavy fish right there. Oh, yeah. Look at him, JV. That's a monster crappie right there. Oh, I hope I'm recording. Oh, I hope I'm recording. Uh, yeah. Let me set this down here. You guys can get a good look at that. Now that is his tail split right there. That is a 16 inch crappie. This crappie is longer than that bass I just caught. Actually two pound crappie right there. And second spot I tried and I've just been real patient and stayed put. This one's a lot thicker. Y'all can see the fillets on him. You gonna taste good, ain't you, son? Let y'all look at something funny here. My hat picked up. He's, try, he's trying to make out like he, he's not paying attention in the world. He's watching the trees for squirrels. Uh-uh, look here, JV. Look here, JV. I'm going to throw him back. I'm going to throw him back. JV, here it goes. You, you're trying to act like she's so cool over there, huh? Well, are you not making up for the ones I missed? This is a good one, isn't it? I think it is. <laughs> he's hard on me, folks. 
He's hard on me. <laughs> Picked it up right here at me, guys. Ooh, 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 that's a good one. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish there. We're going to have to clay him down. Of course, they all, people love to have fun with me turning the drag all the way down. Oh, I've got two going at once. Another big one. Well, better just stop while I make a big mess, huh? That's what I thought. He's a powerful fish. I haven't caught one of these things in nearly 30 years. I'm surprised, to be honest with you, that brim hook fell. I want to I land him because I want to show him to you guys. But I promise you, some of you have never seen any of them. Oh no, that's a, that's a nice catfish. I thought that was a lungfish. JB says, no, that's mine, I'm eating it. Uh-uh, back up, Bo. Back up, I got him. I got him. Yeah, he's, 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 he's. Hey, hey, don't make me lose him now. I thought that was a lungfish. Okay, well back up, Bo. Back up. Back up. We go catch fishing, we catch crappie. We go crappie fishing, we catch catfish. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you definitely uh, table fare. Three pound channel cat. You hear a bit of three pounds. Oh, come on now. We had him hooked in a good spot. There was one with you that got my other pole. Yeah. Need you to open your mouth because I don't have my pliers with me. Well, I pulled it out and you put it back in. Yeah, table fare. That's your catfish sandwich? Okay. In the bucket. And here comes the rain. I knew if I just left it there, something would come up, but I, I, I figured it was gonna be another uh, big old two pound crappie. Goodness me, I'm gonna have more fish than I wanna tote out of here, guys. I tell you, arthritis is so much fun. I'll have fun getting that other pole un undone. I tell you, this tree and me have fought over, our, over my line. <clears throat> uh. Hell, I've got about 10 minutes and we're going to have to go. And I want to try to get one more good crappie for you guys. But I didn't bring a flashlight and I want to be able to walk out of here, so let me put this out and get this other one unhung. See if I can catch y'all another crappie. He's running with it. He's trying to get that minute down. This rain cloud come over and made everything so dark. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but he's definitely running with it. Oh, he still got it. Got him. Got him, JB. A good one, too. He's a good one. Look at that boy. Oh, my goodness. Look at there, JB. Look at there. 
Oh, got one going on that pole. Got one in my hand and one going. Look at there, guys. If you don't mind a little rain, it don't have to be a sunny day in 70 degrees to get out and catch a nice mess of fish, and you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. Now I've thrown back, I can't tell you how many small ones. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> and you, you can tell right away uh, if it's a good one or not. Uh, I'm going to try one more minnow here real quick. And JB and I are going to have to cut out of here because we got to walk. And it's getting it's real late in the evening. Y'all can see how dark it got. And I don't, I don't have a flashlight and I don't want to step on a snake. So, and I really don't want to run into a wild hog. And you're more subject to do that after dark. So, I'm going to give it about three minutes and we're going to cut out of here. Hey guys, as you can see, we made it to, to the truck barely. Sorry about the water on the lens. Um, JB's turning five, so if you guys will, please say happy birthday to him because what was a little creek about up to the top of my mud boots going over was chest deep coming back. It's rose that much. And I found a little quicksand and that new medicine, it keeps your heart from beating as fast. Somehow it keeps your blood pressure down. I can't explain it, but uh, I was pretty sure once I got out of that quicksand, I was lost. But this boy right here had us on the trail the whole time. And he got dark out here quick. <laughs> it's only been five minutes. Uh, that's about all it took. Um, but that boy is so smart, let me tell you. So y'all please say happy birthday to him, if you will. Thank you. See you guys on the next one.